Welcome to wisnotes.com mathematics video tutorials. This tutorial is on functions, quiz number one, solutions. We do hope that you have attended the questions or at least read them. Okay, let's get started. Question one Draw the graph of the following relations using suitable scales. Part one X is equal to 4. Now this asks us to draw the graph of the relation x is equal to 4. So first we will identify the point 4 on the x-axis and the relation, the graph of the relation x is equal to 4 is going to be the graph where all along the graph the points are equal to 4. That is the points for x on the graph, all along the graph is equal to 4. Now let's look at it. Well, first I identify the point 4 on the x-axis. And then we draw a line through 4 for which all the points on the graph is equal to 4. And so the graph must be parallel to the y-axis. So y-axis, the graph through 4 is parallel to the y-axis. And all along this graph x is equal to 4. Part 2. Part 2 asks us to draw the, the graph of the relation x is equal to 2.5. Now to draw this graph, it's the same procedure. We identify 2.5 on the x-axis, that's right here. And we draw a line through the point 2.5 that is parallel to the y-axis. Draw a line through 2.5, that's right here. And it's parallel to the y-axis. So this is the solution for x is equal to 2.5. So note, when we're drawing the graphs of relations of the form x is equal to a number, the graph of those relations will always be parallel to the y-axis. Let's go on to part 3. Part 3 asks us to draw the graph of the relation y equal to minus 5. So first we will identify the point minus 5 on the y-axis. That's right here. Then we draw a line through minus 5 that is parallel to the x-axis. This is the x-axis. So we draw the line through minus 5 which is parallel to the x-axis. And all along this, this graph, y is equal to minus 5. Let's go on to part 4. Part 4 asks us to draw the graph of the relation y is equal to 6. So the same procedure. We identify the point 6 on the y-axis. That's right here. We draw a line through 6 that is parallel to the x-axis. So all along this line, y is equal to 6. So, when we're drawing graphs of relations of the form y is equal to a number, the graph of those relations are always parallel to the x-axis. Okay, let's go on to number 2. Question 2. Draw the graphs of the linear functions. Part 1. f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. For the domain, x is greater than or equal to minus 1, less than or equal to 2. So all the values in this domain are minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. And what we do is to substitute all the values in the domain one by one into the linear function for x. Now when we substitute those values for x, the value that we get is the corresponding y value for those x values. Okay, let's look at it. That can be a mouthful. So what we do, as I said, is to substitute the given values for x in the domain, which are minus 1, 0, 1, and 2 in the function, in the function, solving for the respective f of x or y values. So this is a linear function. f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. We substitute all the values in the domain one by one. So we start with minus 1. 
So f of minus 1 is equal to 2, and we substitute it for x. So that's 2 times minus 1 plus 3, and that gives us 1. Then we substitute the value, the next value in the domain, which is 0 for x, and we do that for each value in the domain. So when we substitute 0 in a linear function, we get 3. When we substitute 1 in a linear function for x, we'll get 5. And when we substitute 2 in a linear function for x, we'll get 7. So the next step is to write these x values and their corresponding y values together. So when we do that, we have minus 1 and 1, minus 1 and 1. We have 0 and 3, 0 is x value, 3 is the y value. 1 and 5, 1, 5. 2 and 7, 2 and 7. And these are the four points that we are supposed to plot on the graph. So the next step is to plot them on the graph. And having plotted them, we draw a line through them, and that is the graph of the linear function. So let's look at the graph. So we'll plot the points. Minus 1 and 1, 0 and 3, 1 and 5, 2 and 7. How do you plot the, the points of a graph? You first plot the x, say you find the point on the x-axis. So let's start with the first one. You look on the x-axis and you identify minus 1. Minus 1 is here. Then we'll find... 1 on the y-axis, that is here. So the first point is minus 1, 1. Now we do that for all the points. And then draw a line through them. And that is the graph of the linear function. Okay, let's look at part 2. Part 2 asks us to draw the linear function. The graph of the linear function, f of x is equal to 6x. And it asks us to do that for the domain x is greater than or equal to minus 1, less than or equal to 2. So it's the same domain as the previous question done, and it's the same procedure. The procedure is to, firstly, list the, num the x values in the domain, substitute each x value in the linear function for x, solving for the corresponding y value, put those two values together, and plot them on the, the graph. So let's look at it again. So, the, the numbers in the domain are minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. We're going to substitute them one by one into the function, linear function 6x, so substituting for x. So, minus 1, substituting for x, that gives us the minus 6. We substitute 0 in the linear function for x, that gives us 0. We substitute 1 in the linear function for x, that gives us 6. And we substitute 2 in the linear function for x, and that gives us 12. Then we group the x and y values together that are supposed to be plotted. And we have minus 1 and 6, 0 and 0, 1 and 6, and 2 and 12. Then the next step is to plot them on the graph and then draw a line through the points. And that is the graph of the linear function. So let's look at the graph. This is the graph. What we did again was to find each point, plot each point and draw a line through each of them and that is the graph of the linear function so it's the same procedure for both the procedure does not change